Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at a little used feature in Adobe Premiere Pro called Select All Matching. All right, uh, if you've ever needed to find matching stuff in a timeline and uh, you don't want to look around, there's a command. But it has to be an exact match. I'm going to show you that in the timeline and then I'll also show you a way where you can get a list of all the usage of your clips. So first of all, I dropped in some clips down here uh, like this guy here and he's over there. So it's the same clip there and there. I'll select the clip, go to the edit menu and choose select all matching. There's no keyboard shortcut. I'm going to give it one in a second. Select all matching selects that clip and it is exactly a match. So let's create a keyboard shortcut in the edit menu on Windows in the uh, Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, keyboard shortcuts and let's Select all matching. There it is. So I'm going to give it a number one. It says it's already used. I'm going to use that one. Click OK. So now every time I select something like this one and press the one key, it's going to select all matching. Uh, the one key is normally for angle one in a multicam. I'm not using that uh, right now, so I'll just do that. Now let's go look over here at some graphics. So here's a bunch of triangles. Here's more triangles. Here's one triangle and an ellipse. So I'll select this one and select all matching and it selects all of these. If I'll select this one, which is the triangles, select all matching, it selects all of them. So in this one, I'm going to delete the triangle and now we've got an ellipse and we've got triangles. So let's see and it still selects it. So obviously, if it's a graphic, it's selecting it. But only up here, which is odd because I have graphics down there. I've got some um, rectangles and I just threw a bunch of these down in here. So if I select that, they're selecting all the rectangles regardless if they're gray or if they're uh, red, okay? And this one is um, a rectangle and an ellipse and a rectangle and an ellipse. So it will select all of those. Now let's look down here at the bottom and I've got clips and I've got duplicate of those clips over here. Let me just shut off those graphics. So these are the same, the full clips on both sides. So if I select that one, it's going to select the first one. Same thing, select that one, select the second one. They're in the same order. It's the same clip, same clip, same clip. Now, if you do have these chopped into pieces, so if we've got this guy here and you've cut this clip up several times, so I'll grab the razor and chop this up, no matter where they are in the timeline, if they're right beside each other or one hour away, I'll select this one, select all matching, and it selects all matching regardless of where it is. This can really be useful if you're trying to quickly find something that's related to all of these different clips on the timeline. Um, you could also enable these. Uh, Shift E is, is uh, what I've got uh, mapped to enable. If you right click, Enable is on for clips and it's a toggle on and off. Maybe you wanted to select a bunch of the same things and, and quickly just turn them on and off instead of having to find them. So, oh yeah, and then down here, the same thing with audio. So if I select this audio and play it and we select all matching, let me zoom out, select all matching, nothing, but this one is cut multiple times, select all matching and it is the same. Um, audio track. So it does work with audio. So this can be very useful when you're trying to find things. Another solution is to turn on uh, a category in the project panel called video usage and audio usage. Fantastic for finding um, if where you've used clips or where you've used B-roll, 
really good for that. So this is the project panel here. I'm using the Essentials workspace, but it's basically the project panel. I'm gonna open this up by double clicking on the name, making it large. And beside the name is a little flyout menu, all the way down to the bottom, metadata display. And I'll type in USAGE, usage. Premier Pro Project Metadata, Video Usage, Audio Usage. And I'll click OK. And they usually show up way over here. So I'm going to drag this category all the way to the left. And the same with the uh, audio. Drag these over here. And double click on the name and make that small. So now you can see here, this particular one was used twice. And if you click on the little drop down and then click in here, it'll take you right to where that clip is. Very, very useful. See, see the playhead is jumping to the, it's not selecting it, but it's jumping to the head of that clip. Boom, just like that. Um, and then again here, this is where that, that music has all been used, same thing. So naming doesn't affect this. If you have uh, different names for clips, doesn't affect it. Uh, trimming doesn't affect it. It's all based on the original source clip. If you've chopped it up and trimmed it, it doesn't matter. It's just a useful thing. Stick this in the back of your head. If you ever need to go and select the matching stuff that matches exactly of what you have uh, on the timeline.